Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. You know, today as we begin our time together, I'd like to ask your special prayers for the 12th session of Susquehanna Conference that will be held virtually this year uh, on Friday and Saturday. In these challenging times, please pray for wisdom and deliberation as we do the work of the church and conference. I join my voice with Kathleen Kine who wrote, it is my prayer that we enter into our work keeping an eye on the mission and are renewed in our call to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. My friends, keep us in prayer. Our sessions begin each day at 8.30 a.m. Well, last week, Dee and I got to take some vacation, and on our vacation, we went to see the show Esther at Sight and Sound in Lancaster. Absolutely wonderful. Magnificent sets and costumes, great music, and a wonderful telling of an ancient story. If you have an opportunity to see the show, I encourage you to do so. You will leave both inspired and challenged by Esther's courage. I love the story of Esther because it shows us how God places us in situations for such a time as this. Esther and the Jews were living in a foreign rule when circumstances played out that saw Esther become the queen of a Gentile king. Life seems to be going along fine until the villain in the story, Haman, plots to destroy all the Jews. Mordecai, who raised Esther, hears of the plot against the Jews and sends, words to, sends a word to Esther that she must go to the king and plead for their very lives. But you know what, my friends? In ancient times, to go before the king without being summoned, the law required that you'd be put to death. Esther tells Mordecai this, and Mordecai says to her, perhaps you have come to royal dignity for such a time as this. Esther agrees to go to the king after a three-day fast by all the Jews in Susa. At the end of that three days, Queen Esther goes to the king finds favor and is granted access. She invites the king and Haman to a banquet on two consecutive days. On the second day, she reveals that she is a Jew and pleads for her life and for all her people. The king is furious, and when he finds out that Haman is behind all of this, he has Haman hang on the gallows that Haman had built for Mordecai. The story has a happy ending, and Esther and Mordecai save the Jews. Now, my thought for us today, and, and really it's a challenge, comes from this very story. Because I believe that we are just like Esther. God has strategically deployed each of us just where we need to be for such a time as this. For some, it is your family. For others, it is your workplace. Or for others, a need in your community or weak community or neighborhood. But my friends, when challenges come our way, and they always do. Can we step out in faith and see how God will redeem our situation? I think that Dee and I coming to Marysville provides the perfect illustration. As we moved here, my parents would need more support as they moved into a retirement community and no longer could drive. Now I was available to help my sister meet their needs. When the pandemic set in, that need became even greater. And this year I was here to support my sister when my parents died, and now she has her own battle with cancer. In a very real sense of the word, I am here for such a time as this. So I would encourage you as you might face a challenge, tough challenge in your life, to have the courage and faith like Esther, and to embrace that you're right where you need to be for such a time as this. And then ask God to, to help you step out in faith, knowing that God is with you and will provide for you in such a time as this. Amen. Well, a few announcements about Wesley Church. Um, say some good things are happening here and just uh, really excited to see things, uh, people getting re-engaged at activity. Um, our in-person service is now outdoors, of course, weather permitting. The service will be held behind the multi-purpose room. I want to remind you to bring a chair. If it seems to be too warm that day and you like to stay in your car, you can do that and you can tune in on your FM radio dial at 93.1.
In case of inclement weather, uh, we'll move indoors into the sanctuary. Register now for Vacation Bible School. Uh, that's July 18th from 18th through the 22nd from 6 to 8 p.m. I heard today that we're up over 50 kids, and we're really excited to welcome all children ages 3 through 5th grade um, to Bible school. What a good time we're going to have uh, next month. The Vacation Bible School Mission Project is going to assist join hands in helping children be prepared to go back to school. Last year, Join Hands helped over 425 Perry County children with school supplies. The VBS project will be to collect earbuds for them. You can see a full list of items needed at Join Hand in the bulletin on Sunday. Thank you for your support of Join Hands and the children at Perry County. Well, it's been great visiting with you. Why don't we close our time with prayer? Let us pray. Dear Lord, Help us to learn from Esther's story and to realize that we're right where you need us for such a time as this. Strengthen our faith and give us courage to do what we must. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for visiting with me today. Let's talk again soon, and may the peace of God be with you. Stay strong, my friends, and stay safe.